Are your PowerPoints effective or ineffective and add an unnecessary cognitive load to your students? Now, I'm sure, like me, you can remember many times when you first started to use PowerPoint, one would add animations, sound effects, GIFs, and all sorts of fancy snazzy movements to make your presentation appear more snazzy and engaging. Now, the research recommends we're being quite foolish when we do such things. So re-engineering your PowerPoint slides can enhance learning and support memory retention. It's about simplifying content and focusing in on key concepts to reduce cognitive overload for your students. When we properly design our slides that align with the recommendations from cognitive science, we can aid our students' memory rather than overwhelm them. So what should we do? Well, in the link to this video, you'll see the research paper and my summarization and some practical recommendations that teachers can use. For example, using dual coding, following Gestalt principles and avoiding text heavy cluttered slides. If you consider simplicity, you could reevaluate the way that you use slides in the future and reduce your workload and improve the impact that you have in the classroom. So click the link in the video, look at my summary, The Cognitive Science of PowerPoint by Paul and Chitchek, 2021.